Whoa! <laughs> like that. Put this down. Ooh. That's my new guitar. Treated myself, you know, after Christmas when all the bills and everything have been paid. Anyway, enough about me. Oh, let me just say who I, oh, I am, Neo. Hello. All you and CB will do know who I am. <laughs> I do talk a lot about different things. Crystals, life, ascension. We'll talk about them subjects another time. Today I am here to give a few shout outs to everybody in CB land and just to talk about some of the updates that we've had recently and how everybody's felt about that. Um, we recently had a new version 2.0.1. Um, this is quite an important uh, update because it's something that we've talked about for over 12 months and this is to have a fixed user name or a nickname as they would say. Um, this stops people from buying and abuse. Everybody knows who everybody is. Did take the fun away a little bit at the beginning, but then they came up with a new fix, and that was to add a description. So now I don't know. I think everybody can do it, whether you're pro or not. You can add a description underneath. Um, you know, wherever you want to say. You know, people like to fly banners, but at least now we know who's flying the banners. If they want to say something, then do it in the added description. That's what it's there for, and that's a great option. The only other problem we seem to have, and plug mine still haven't fixed this, is the GP location fix. And this causes me major stress because no matter what I do, uninstall, reinstall, um, I'm still getting the same problem not showing me location. And so they keep trying to do the location fix, but my particular phone, the HTC Sensation, as crap as it might be, um, doesn't work with that with their fix, whatever they've tried to do. So that needs readdressing, have another look at that, see what you can do. Um, the reason being is, without that, you can't go more local, you have to go worldwide. Um, and that means we have to talk to Americans, Australians, all different types of people from around the world. Now, you'd think that that would be a good thing, wouldn't you, you know, to integrate us all more, enable us to understand each other's cultures a bit better and to get along. But unfortunately, that's the last thing that comes into anybody's mind when we're talking to the Americans and when they're talking to us. Now, that, I'm not going to tar everybody with the same brush. There are a few people out there from other countries that are okay. But what i found is the majority of them are very nasty, aggressive, argumentative. Maybe that's, we used to do that in the beginning. I think we've evolved as British people in the way that we've learned to communicate. So the community's a lot better now. People are getting along a bit better. There's a lot more respect. Um, I think that's because we put some sort of structure in place and some, re some, some respect level with old school, intermediates and newcomers. We all seem to know where we're at. And this is just a progression. It's taken two years to get to this point. Um, but again, we need this location fix because I have to go through every single person and block them that you don't want to hear because it could be 40, 50 odd people all on channel one because that's where people like to sit. They don't like messing out. Really, I don't know, maybe. No, there's plenty of other channels there. People could choose to do that, but they don't. They all choose to sit on channel one. Um, so that needs sorting out. Now what it means is with that new update, you can't change your name. Some people have done it, names by mistake, bad boy, Barb or whatever you put it. He's misspelt it. And so there was an application out there, or there is an application out there called Aptoid, which they were going on and on and on about, which enables you to use um, CB Chat and you can change your name. Okay, but you will still have that bar at the front because what you're basically doing is going back to an older version and not using the update. If you want to change your name and you've done the update, just send an email to PlugMind telling them what your current name is and then telling them what your new name is. Um, and then they'll change that for you and let you know. So there's no real big problem there. So it's coming along, it's getting better. I think we're on the subscription now. Most people subscribe and it's a, a rolling subscription. So I think it's 89 pence. UK uh, currency but I'm not quite sure if it is in America they'll probably let me know um, and that just comes out every month for whenever you subscribe you can unsubscribe not a problem 
but you know I think it's fair play, it's fair enough. We need some issues sorting out though. We'll address that with the uh, with plug mind. Send them some emails and try and get that sorted out as soon as we can. Um, right, so that's that's the technical side of things. That's the more serious side of things. Um, the updates on CB Chat. So what we're going to talk about now is just some of the people on there, so the new people that arrived, some of the old school, um, and then I'll come back to a couple of points at the end that I want to see. So I don't want to drag this on forever. Just want to give everyone a shout out. All the people that are still hanging in there, the new people, how they settling in. Um, we've got people who come and go, you know. But there's there's a few there's a group of people that come on on a regular basis. We do shift work, you know. Some of them are on there all day lushy. Some of us, some of us come on late at night. Some of us come on in the day. Some of us just come on for an hour at tea time, you know. But we all play our part, as I like to say. But there's a few of us that go back to the beginning. Now, I call them the old school. I've got a list of old school. Um, I'm going to go through them all and then I'll go through some of the others. I don't really want to start talking about in length about each one. We'll be here all day. So I just want to give some shout outs. If I've missed you out in your old school, I'm sorry. You know where my crystals try and help me <laughs> with my psychic abilities. But sometimes you do slip your mind, so I may have missed somebody off, but hopefully not. So there's no particular order that I've put these in, just as they came to my mind. I may even stop and talk about a few of them. I think I'll start with Pornstar. Big, big up respect to Pornstar. He's old school. We go back a long way. He's just been in hospital. He didn't want anybody to know about it, but, you know, I don't know how it got out. But apparently, what happened is with Pornstar is he gave up smoking. He gave up drinking, and from that point on, um, his, his health seemed to deteriorate. Everything started going wrong with him, all because he gave up smoking. So he ended up in hospital. Now, he's fine. I don't want to, on the particular the day that he was in hospital, he couldn't speak because people were in the same ward as him, and he didn't want everybody to hear. So basically, I was saying um, he'd have to have his leg off, amputated. Um, we were trying to raise a lung for him, you know, see if anyone would donate one. Anybody who wasn't a smoker out there, if they were quite willing to donate a spare lung for Porn Star. <laughs> but it wasn't that serious anyway. We were just having a laugh and it was all good. So, big up, up to Porn Star. He's one of my main, main men. Jarhead, another old school guy. Go back a long way. He's had a rough time. I think we've settled down now and we, people are now realising Jarhead's not as bad as you, you know as you think it is. I think I think all the old school have now got a, a, a level of respect because there's that many other intermediates and newcomers who come on. We don't need to argue our differences anymore. There's plenty of other people out there who you can argue with, and you get to accept the people, the characters for who they are. You know, so you know it's good. It's good. Old school. I'm, I've put some people in an intermediate um, list who are probably old school but I've never really interacted with these people and they've no, never been on my radar so I can only go by my own memory even though some other people will tell me and when I've looked back on some of my older blogs people like Lowboy now Lowboy's only recently come on my radar in the past six months or whatever eight months but he's said he's always said he's been around a lot longer he probably has because in one of my other videos I did I did mention him as a newcomer and that was over a year ago so Sorry about that, low boy, but, you know, we don't always uh, get to chat and we, we, we cross paths come on at different times. That happens with a lot of people. Um, but I do like trying and keep in touch with all the old school and like seeing them on, attending, contributing. But what can you do? They haven't always got that time. And, you know. So anyway, um, that's Jarhead. Cool dude. King of CB. They got respect to cool dude. Michelle, she's back, happy, it's all good. <laughs> Menis, me and Menis get along quite well now. We were going to have pets corn and where we were going to have dogs, pictures of other CB users' dogs, and he sent me a picture of his dog, and then the idea was to have dogs corny, you know, a feature uh, in, in, <laughs> in the Neo Wheel Productions. Anyway, we didn't get around to that, no doubt. One day we will. I like Menis, we get on well. Brings me on to three dots because they pretty much spend a lot of time together on similar times. Let me just have a 
just make a coffee. Look at this, what it says on my mug. <sighs> Can you read that? It looks back to front of me. Anyway, <laughs> don't know if that means anything to you. Three dots, yeah. He's a good lad, you know. Um, his temperament's changed, he's a lot happier in his life than he used to be. Um, and yeah, I like his sense of humour, you know, and how he picks little elements out of what people say and picks them up on. So yeah, I like, I like Three Dots a good lad. Essex lad, I like his son, he's old school, he used to speak a lot, but recently he doesn't like, he doesn't seem to speak to me much, and maybe I'm guilty of the same, I don't speak to him probably as much. We have mutual respect for each other. Um, bad boy. Bad boy, I was saying he's changed his name to Barbo, but he managed to change it back, I think, and now he's Bad Boy. How are you doing, son? Big up respect to Bad Boy, Miss Chilling. Um, Queen of CB. <laughs> Maximum respect being out to Miss Chilling. Yes, 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 yes. And Mr. Chilling, of course, because they go as a couple. Um, Gable Tet. Doesn't pay much uh, time now. Doesn't give as much time a day. Drops in now and again, but. You know, hasn't really got much to say, more of a listener now. I think his, his pattern, his lifestyle, well not his lifestyle, his routine um, has changed, so I don't see him very often. Govney, he's working busy, I think. He's, he's alright, I get on with Govney, he's a good lad. Andrea from Blackpool, get on with Andrea, she's a good, she's a good one as well. Yeah, I like Andrea. Um, Dead Ed, Nottingham, Forest Gump. Don't know why, he seems to put me on the block all the time. <laughs> don't know whether he probably doesn't like listening to me, I don't know. I don't know what, what it is, but I've never fallen out with Dead Ed and I think he's a good lad. You know, I like his sense of humour. You know, and he winds the Americans up. But he puts me on the block. So I don't know, it's a moral thing whether he thinks I'm judging him in some way by what he's doing. Um, Austin, big up respect to Austin. Um, Last time in the last blog I put him down as a newcomer who'd taken over from Hard Case who was running the room and controlling it and being the doorman, you know, getting, sorting the idiots out. <laughs> well, he, he's come up in the ranks now and, you know, he's actually, he's actually on me um, old school list now. Big up respect to Austin, I've got a lot of respect for Austin. He's a good lad. Raygun, how are you, son? Me and Raygun go back. We played on um, Zombies on Black Ops. He's a good player, he's a good gamer, he's also a PC gamer, plays um, DayZ, I haven't played it's like Zombie Survival, Let's try and get me on that through Steam, if any of you know what Steam is and that. Anyway, big up respect to Raygun, fellow gamer, Black Ops 2 is me, way forward, doing my best. At the moment I've got a 1.11 kill death ratio, I know it's not the best in the world, but I am 47, I think I do quite well for my age. So, um, if anybody's interested, we'll talk about that. I'd be on Pigeon, Pigeon Power, and also known as No Name, No Named Hero. Been having some trouble problems, some trouble problems, some problems with the radiator um, leaking. Trying to sort that out. Good luck with that, son. Probably just send it in and get it braised up. You know, he's got a bit of a leak on there. Uh, I've got to mention Ruthless. Like I said, no particular order. Most people don't know Ruthless, and Ruthless hasn't been on for 18 months probably, but. Don't really want to go into that in any great detail, but he'll be, be back on soon. Big up to uh, Ruthless. Ruthless here. <laughs> always used to say, yeah, this is Ruthless. Ruthless here. I can't do the accent, boy, you know what I mean? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Um, Mr. Hillside, another YouTube CB um, guy. He puts blogs on as well. If, if I can be bothered, I might put some links to these sites. You know, he, he shoots things, but he doesn't mean any harm. You know, you know, he winds people up saying he shoots things, but he just mainly cans and things. Good, good videos, check him out. I'll put a link. Green Thumb. I use some big up respect to Green Thumb. We have some good conversations. He's very humorous and uh, what's it? Me brethren. <laughs> I, I can't do all that. Hey, blood clap, me brethren. <laughs> he always makes me laugh. Green Thumb is a good lad. Mr. D, Trucker Dave. Trucker Dave, Dave, you're right, son. How you doing? Not seen you for a while. Where are you? Uh, big Ten Four with his Big Ten phones. He's all right. People, I don't know. Some people get on with him. Some don't. I think he's all right. Um, Pathfinder, how you doing, son? 
he's in and out. He, he's, he's, either, he's either here all the time or he's not here at all, you know. And I haven't seen him for a while, but I believe he's still about. He's been, but he's popped in last night actually. Pipe cracker, I haven't seen him on for a few weeks. Uh, I don't know why are you, you're doing some. Pipe cracker, pipe cracker. Um, Marty, always some big up respect to Marty. He used to be the uh, administrator when we very first started. I thought he was anyway, you know. He, he seemed like he got that voice for it and he'd always monitor people and jump in on conversations. But anyway, we got on well. Big up respect to Marty. Hope you're doing well, son. Blue Cheese, Cali Connection, Welsh guy, me and Blue Cheese go back again. Used to hate me at one time, but I think we're getting on all right now. We've got more mutual respect for each other. Um, Sid, how are you, son? Um, he's a good lad. Quite like Sid. Entertaining. Hangs around with many, you know, similar sort of conversations we have together. Many, three dots and Sid. That's where I see it's like little clicks. You get your little clicks, you know. Lushy, I gave you a mention on one of my other videos, Lushy, and I, I don't even think you take checked it out because I really did give you a big up, you know. I didn't really know you back then. You're a little annoying, but I do like you. That laugh as a name drives me crazy, but we've got similar interests. You've got a lot to say for yourself, which is great, just like myself. But you could talk on a more international level and get along with those Americans and, you know, Australians. I find that difficult, you do well. You, you know everybody, if, if you ever want to know anything about anybody on CB, Lush is your man, he's got all the information, whether he'll share it with you or not, I don't know. But he knows, pretty much knows everybody, he hasn't been on um, that long, but it's like he has, he's put more hours in, you know, so even though he's, I wouldn't class him as old school yet, he has in his stripes and he's put his hours in, so, uh, big up respect to Lushy, how are you son? AK-47 Mesh. How are you Mesh? Um, Nibiru. <laughs> she used to say it wrong. What did she used to say? I can't remember what she said now. She used to say it the wrong way around. So she used to drive me crazy. I'm like, Mesh, it's Nibiru! But no, she thinks I live on the Nibiru. I nearly said it right then, the wrong way, if you know what I mean. But I didn't, and then I put it right, so it doesn't matter anyway. Um, Mesh, how are you? I'm not going to talk about what you think I'm going to talk uh, So, anyway, I'm going to move on. See you later, Mesh. Um, oh, sorry, Ding Dong. <laughs> Ding Dong, oh my God. He's alright. <laughs> that laugh, he's got one of them laughs that... Uh, <laughs> it just grinds on your nerves, it grinds on, you know what I mean? It drives you crazy. He's, he's racist. I'd say he's pretty racist. There's one or two people who are racist, Popeye. And, you know, that's just their opinions, their views. You know me. I'm about the one consciousness and there's all going along together. But there are a few people out there who can't see to the same as me. Anyway, I don't go into any of that, you know, That wasn't what it was. This is just a shout out. Um, so Ding Dong, always some rusty, rusty nail. Keep the guitaring going, son. Please keep it going. Beautiful guitars, they sound great. It's good for the soul, son. You make you feel better about yourself, so keep that going. Um, low boy, how are you, son? He used to say everything three times, but he's recently gone into crystals and his clarity and his focus is a lot better now. You know, his level of uh, intelligence seems to be rising. I don't know, put it down to the crystals, I don't know, maybe. But when you see and realize the power of the crystals, you know, you'll get into them. Eventually. You all will believe me. It's beneficial to you. Dangerous Dave, how you doing son? Careful don't burn yourself on that stove when you're doing your stir fries. The most dangerous thing Dave does, let me tell you. <laughs> no, he's alright really. I do like Dave. He's got a vivid imagination. You know. Um, which is great, I like it, it's good. But he has said some nasty things, so Dave you should take all that back. That wasn't very nice. Collie Bong, big up respect to Collie Bong, part of the Brotherhood, he's part of the, uh, the, la the Gentleman's Lounge, and he works with me and he's a good lad, he's a good lad, Collie Bong is, so he's part of the Stoke Massive, big up respect to Collie Bong, and his boys, um, also gamers as well, play a lot on Black Ops man, they nail it, nail it, gold everything, gold shotguns, and Zombies, they love it, it's good. Anyway, 
Moving on, Mr. Top Buzz, how you doing? Big up respect to Top Buzz because he goes back to the old rave days, you know. So we've got a lot to talk about on the on the dance scene and music. UFO, he's got a lot to say for himself. It's good. He's quiet. You need to turn your mic up some or something. But I do like what he talks about and the way he puts things. So you know, big up respect to UFO, son. You're doing good. I like your stuff. Mazzy, how are you, son? Don't particularly know you that well, Mazzy. Um, I've put you in the intermediate list now, and apparently you should have been, uh, someone else should have been on the intermediate list, I might have moved them. Anyway, Marzi Oison, don't really know you that well, but I'm getting to know you, but you, apparently you've been around a lot longer than I think you have. Just looking at the time, I don't know how long I've been, don't keep talking too long. Um, Taz, what happened Taz, hello, hello. Are you in there, Taz? I won't say your full name, but I might, can I? No, I won't say your full name. I should ring you, I know, Taz, I know. You haven't rang me, I haven't rang you. Why are you not on CB? You know, you should be on CB, you're still here. There's still people who know you, wondering where you are. You went to Egypt, that was the last we heard. <sighs> Come on, get in touch, son. So, Taz, where are you, son? I'm just going to run down quickly now through the newbies, as I'd say newbies, I mean, some of these, they've been around a couple of months or so, but I, I seem to get on with them and I've just put in the ones on that I talk to, there's a lot of newbies that come and go, but in my newbie eye, these are the people who I've spoken to and I think they're worth a shout out, so we've got Mr. Joe Beans, always son, he listens to a lot of things I say, seems to like the subject, so that's all good, Popeye, toot toot, uh, hey Nero, it's Nero, Nero, it's Popeye. All right then, Nero. You just make me laugh, you know. <laughs> He's all right. He's got some issues. You know, over there. A little bit racist, like I said, but that nothing to do with me. I don't talk about that. I believe there's good in all of us, and I'm get that's the part I'm trying to drag out to everybody and get a better community to go you know, together. Billy Joe, how are you, son? He's very polite, Billy Joe is. Right. He's in, to me, he's quite new. Maybe it's because he's so polite. You know, yes, yip, 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 yip. <laughs> yip, yip. Yes, I've watched your videos, you know, yip, yip. I, I can't do the accent, so I'll try. We've got a new Zed. I don't know who he is. I've not spoken to him. Everyone thinks, well, a couple of people, G and that, thought he was the old Zed. We haven't seen him for a while. Zed, where are you, son? Come back. We had some great days. Some great conversations, you know. We need you back. But we've got a new Zed, called himself Zed. Don't know who he is, but anyway. Skeezy, how are you, son? Apparently, you've been around as long as uh, uh, Mazzy and that. I've I just not spoken to you, so I don't really know. Skeezy, how are you, son? Coventry, he's, he's new. He's got a lot to say for himself. The lad has. He's just bought himself an Audi Quattro. He's been ripped apart back for buying one, but good fun. You know, good luck with that, son. Getting it going and hope it all goes well for you, son, on the road. Um, Coventry, Bex. Don't really speak to Bex, but she's in and out. Unique, don't speak to Unique. Um, she gets a lot of grief from people. Ding Dong especially. <laughs> Just leave her be. Um, FTO. He's quite funny. Yeah, he's alright, FTO. I think because I put this as the car category like because they put the names like FTO, he's obviously got an FTO, and Honda, I like son, I believe he, he's got an Honda, maybe he has, maybe has. maybe he's got a Honda bike, I'm not sure, maybe, anyway, uh, Welsh lady, always says hello to me, hi right, Welsh lady, Mad Scott, all right son, um, he watches me videos as well, anyway, so I'm just going to give a quick mention for some internationals, first time ever, don't really, never spoke to the, the foreigners really before, but now it seems like it's got to happen and it's got to start speaking to him. So we've got Ball Cracker, Bulk Cracker, he's quite an intelligent guy. He, I don't block him, I listen to Bulk Cracker. Biker 7, I always saw him big up back respect to Biker 7. He's on my PlayStation 3 list um, for Black Ops, but he hasn't played much from what I've seen. But he's a good lad, I like him, except when he's playing his music. Biker 7, Slimy. Um, He's an English guy who, I think, is he in Australia? I think he's going to live in Australia, works there, whatever. He's a good lad. Get some good, you know, got a good point of view on things. And uh, 
he's British so big up respect to Slimy. American governor, also known as Fluffy Bunny these days. He, he's an intelligent guy. I'm not going to put my pad down and give a right good speech about this guy. But he's got some issues, you know, why haven't we all? Um, he doesn't really like many things about his own people, his own country. I don't know. Anyway, American governor, I like listening to you, so stop blocking me every time. Just, you know, it's all about the banter, isn't it? So that's pretty much my list that I wanted to talk about. Um, Kakeo, everybody seems to use that to, for messaging information, photographs. Um, so it's a laugh, sometimes there's too many in a room. Don't invite me into a room if there's seven, eight hundred people and I'm not interested. Please, you're wasting me time. And unless it's a small group of people who I know, don't invite me into these big groups, thank you. Okay. Um, so, let me just say, um, the Mayan calendar, the 21st of the 12th, 2012, everyone said it was going to be the end of the world. Well, not everybody said it was going to be the end of the world. In fact, the Mayans never said it was the end of the world. It was the new beginning. You know, it's the media, uh, propaganda, all the hype that's made this to, to make it look like the world's going to end. That wasn't the case, and I never said that, even though some people did. If you check back on some of my old videos, I've always talked about the new beginning. You know, the planetary alignment, and now we're coming in to the new beginning. And this is all about us all being able to communicate on the one consciousness, one consciousness, and realizing that we're all part of the same thing. You know, it's only the governments and certain people who like to keep us segregated. Fear is control, keep you all segregated. But uh, uh, together, as a one consciousness, we're, we're very powerful. Um, and we've got a lot of abilities and powers that we're not aware of. But that's coming to light now in the new, the, in the, on the ascension process that we're going to go through. The new phase, the uh, DNA um, advancement that the human race and all the planets are now going through. So you'll see things are going to change. The way that we communicate, the way that we understand each other. It may take a while, but this is the new beginning, you know. It's going to take some time. But people like myself... People who are more open-minded, who uh, you know, actually use and believe in these things, it will all come together. See, so that's the the ascension process, 2013 and beyond, <laughs> bringing us all together. Um, I think that's it. I think I've covered everything I wanted to cover. I probably went on a little bit longer than I, I wanted it to. Um, so I'm Neo. Um, been a pleasure. Uh, I'll speak to you again. Neo out.